Hey, get back to here. So let's talk about this Honest Wagner set, quote unquote. The chase for it coming out on the 28th. So this is MLB The Show 19. I just kind of want to show it off this year's game before we go to 20 and what I'm thinking. Basically, at the launch of the, the program, he was damn near impossible outside of a few very high-end rollers to get. Obviously, people that have been working the market all year, people that have been playing a lot of BR, getting 12 and O's, that have a lot of stubs. But Later on, as it went along, it got pretty easy. The thing about last year's game is that once you collected something, you could quick sell it. And that made this thing a lot easier to do. It's like, see how these say no sell? I could still quick sell it. Um, I could still, you know, I, I guess viewing the market's not the greatest one. Listing that found. Sorry, that's a bad one. Uh, quick sell. So, like, he's locked in. I could quick sell him still. And that basically took the cost down from, like, about 3 million co uh, stubs at the start to a lot less because you could quick sell a lot of them for 5,000 stubs. So with that said, we don't have that option this year, so it's going to be a lot more grueling. But the thing about gaming is that a lot of these uh, ultimate team modes have gotten easier as the games have gone, uh, games have gone along. They made it a lot more accessible. So, you know, we don't really know what's coming, but, like, we look at last year's one with the 60... Uh, I think it was the, it wasn't like the breakouts. Obviously, there's a ton of these that are expensive. But like, do you see how I don't have a lot of these filled in? I mean, I did this a little bit later because right when this launched last year, I was getting prepped for Madden. I was playing Madden basically at the start. So I wasn't able to do this till a couple months down the road or maybe even a month after it came out. So it's a little bit cheaper for me because more cards are coming out. So because you can't do it right away, I wouldn't fret too much because do you see the amount of content that came out? Like, it's crazy. So I think almost like, if you haven't prepped for it, if you don't have a lot of stubs right now, and you're going to continue to kind of grind for this, it might be better to invest in cards and make keep making stubs until you know you can. Don't like buy like golds right now on the market. Some of these things, I'll go and show them in uh, 20. Uh, but some of these things, like this one's only 1500 now, but like some of these things are 20,000 stubs, which is just insane for gold. So I would wait till more golds come in. Obviously, with the new inning program coming before that, you should be able to have a chance at those. Those things might go down for a little bit. So. Honest Wagner at the start was crazy. And, and, and really, with that, you can kind of... Uh, and different ways of going about it. I know a lot of people have already prepped for it. It's a little bit... I feel like almost a little bit too late. I'm just going to switch over here to uh, MLB 20. Let's uh, boot it up here. It might be a little late on a lot of cards. Because people know it's coming. People have been prepping for a while. And like I said, some of them are 20,000 stubs. So, here's the thing. My strategies I'm going through here, and, and obviously you can say, I, I would definitely take a look at all these, can you see those, can you see that pop out or not? I can't tell. Let me double check. Series? No, you can't. All right, it's just the way that it, it happens. Awards. Like, these things are expensive as hell. So, like, last year when these things came out, it required all the signatures here. So, I'd ex I, I would expect it to require award cards, which are going to be, you know, the, the top end cards, super expensive, outside of a few lower end ones. Uh, but... If they make it more accessible, right? And they're like, well, you know, we don't want to screw them too bad because we took away the ability to quick sell a lot of these cards, get back on it. Um, if they, if that ends up happening, and as we see this uh, first page, then I can see them coming out with packs and new cards around the next few days into those weeks. Because they're like, opening day is coming, and we're probably going to get some card drops for opening day. But basically, the best way of seeing a lot of these cards going through the inventory... Go. Uh, I actually kind of like the collections page a little bit better for seeing these cards. Just go to the just go to those legend and flashback ones, right? The ones you've already completed or haven't, and just go along and like buy ones that are cheapest, right? So like, see this one, six hundred eighty-eight for silver. A little pricey, but not crazy, I guess. That one's not a bad one to put a bid on. I got a few of them already. So how many can you expect for each one of these? Like if we do if if the the set, which I'd imagine it will have veteran, all star, breakout, rookie. And then it's probably like a couple more because last year's had, what, seven of them? Rookie, Breakout, All-Star, Veteran. So those four were last year's. I'd expect them in this year's again. Last year they had hardware cards. Hardware are split out. Be and they're basically award cards now, right? Hardware is award cards. So we can see awards, like I said. They had postseason cards. So right here last year, there was 15 of these. There are, yeah, I would expect 15 of these again. So I got, what, there's eight. So eight right there, 12, 16. 20 so we might get even 20 of these things but 15 would be a, a big break for that one uh, because i already have 15 i think 2 4 8 12 yeah i already have 15 so if it's 15 of those again that's not as bad for postseason but i feel like there was a f uh, a little bit less the, the biggest questions that uh, i think were uh question like are future stars and faces of the franchise or players league going to be in those those ones are very big deals uh, are very big you know questions uh, who knows right these are a lot of them already have like collections on their own but Future stars are kind of expensive. 
and for good purpose. Because some of them are pretty nice cards. Some of them, you know, you have to get a lot through face of the franchise too, right? So, I feel like the face of the franchise cards won't be in it. If I, if you were to ask me, I think there's a 60% chance that they won't be in it. The face of the franchise and the future stars. Players League, there's just only a few of them. I don't know if it's worth it to have them. It's not a bad idea just to have them bought. Um, they are kind of expensive, and then you can sell them back. I'd, I'd guess if they're not in there, the price is going to collapse. So that's that's a risk. Like if, if they are in there, the prices I think will shoot up. But if they aren't, then they'll go down. So like you, you are risking. You can be careful with that. But if you need to need to forget it, that's okay. As you prep in other stuff, prospects. Oof, oof, oof. Requiring all twenty four prospects, which they already do here. Uh, right, right. Four, eight, twelve. 16 20 24 they've already got a collection for that total hmm i don't know about prospects what do you guys think on prospects so i'm gonna say face of the franchise the future stars are most likely not in it home run derby i would say is most likely not in it either as it wasn't in it last year and we had the home run derby cards in the last year oh i gotta sell my dave parker um extra one of him so like i would that's kind of where i'm coming from and like a lot of those golds that are expensive i would just wait till it goes live now like let me let me show you an example on uh what is there some breakout golds that are super pricey like a uh how much is cabrera three thousand that's not bad but there's some i want to find the one that's over like twenty thousand twelve thousand so what i'm thinking with this stuff is because people are hoarding it because people are expecting that i think a big drop of cards and a lot of people are going to sell the day of it's what we see a lot of times right the hype oftentimes exceeds the final price because people are going to sell on the day that it comes out it's like oh that's that's the day to get it so i think because people have hoarded these cards because people anticipate this thing coming a lot of people are going to be offloading the day it actually comes out if the cards are already super priced so like these cards that are expensive i'm just gonna wait right the prices could obviously go up you know that's and some of them will and i, I probably will pay for this waiting for a few of these things 10k for an 82 is a little pricey but, I mean, this could easily go to 20K, too. I could make a huge, huge mistake. So, I don't know. It, it's really bouncing across each other. I don't have any. I don't have anything, like, definitive to say one way or another because so, of this, so much of this depends on what's required in the set, how much you're willing to mitigate risk, how much your extra stub count is there. Because if, in the end, it requires, like, say it requires, I don't know, like, 30, how many of these? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 24 what well, if it requires 25 uh award cards and these award cards a lot of these go for like 100k are you gonna be able to afford that right away if not then you're kind of like well if i can't afford the most expensive portion of it i might just kind of like forget about the rest of it so even though i i've i've collected a few of them i haven't gone crazy on a lot of these like super expensive golds because of some risk to it and me not being able to finish it right away anyways so like having them because over time they could go up like and i think the biggest tip i want to give you here too is a lot of these cards like the award cards i think there's a good potential they bring back packs so like any any card if you see the location inning program so they won't bring a pack back for an inning program card those ones are safe ones to buy you know there could be some speculation on people keeping those but i think the ones are the no, not definitely not BR. BR ones will stay high. Like this one, Matt Weeders going for like forty to fifty k right now. He comes out of packs. I could totally see them coming back and like boosting the odds in some of these or bringing a, a a pack back that it contains these players to allow them to drop prices. Now, that's just speculating on what their content could come. So like the pack guys, I'm not buying. Uh, if they're if they're pretty decently priced pack cards, I'm kind of staying away from them. Uh, because like Mike Scott right here, Mike Scott's not that big of price, right? Twenty six k. That's not that huge. But they could bring back a, a pack to feature Mike Scott, and then his price goes down, you know, ten k ish, maybe down to sixteen k because he's not that good of a pitcher. So that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. Is, is I'm holding on a lot of cards that come out of packs, but cards that don't like inning cards, ones that I think I, I feel like I might need. Those are the ones I'm kind of snatching up. Uh, but I am I am significantly behind. I don't have enough to get a lot of cards. So it's going to be tough for me to get it right now unless I really grind my ass off, get some 12 and 0s, get the World Series, and uh, kind of stack stubs that way. And anything I come short up, just uh, buy 
with uh, real money. That's the only way I'd probably get that big collection. So there's a lot of... Uh, also, finally, I, I just want to say there's a lot of speculation on it too because it says chase for. So like a lot of people are saying, oh, maybe we won't get the card right away. It's, it's a chase for something down the road. I don't think that's true. They wouldn't reveal something. and then, like, I mean, I guess they could reveal something and they wouldn't give us something that day. I think a lot of people are, are really excited about this. I would think it's bad like game development or game or content to kind of like, hey, prepare for this. And then, oh, I know we're going to give it to you like three weeks later. So I do expect it to go live, the big set to go live on the 28th. And I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. How are you guys prepping? How are you guys uh, doing? Did you guys prep earlier and grab a lot of those goals that are now expensive? Are you keeping it or are you going to sell it? Are you wait till it drops to see what you want to do? Because I feel like a lot of people are definitely in that boat. They are going to wait to drop to, wait to drop to see where it's at. So the market's a fickle bitch and uh, we're just going to have to kind of ride it out and uh, surf the waves. Cowabunga, dude. But that's kind of my thoughts. I am prepping a little, but not an over amount on those uh, cars that are coming from PAX. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, that's it for this video. I guess I can open a pack or two. I got some more. Uh, I got I'll open a pack. See how good. See how, what kind of luck we got today. Damn, nothing. All right. Thanks for watching. Call to action. See you tomorrow.